Whenever I post a video using the CDJ3000s in HID mode with different DJ software, I always get this one question in the comments. Why do people use a laptop with CDJs? Sometimes the question comes from genuine curiosity, but other times it comes from a position of gear snobbery. Us house DJs would never be seen with a bloody laptop during our performance. What do you take us for? Top 40 DJs? Real DJs like us use flash drive. Today we're going to explore that question, talk about some of the misconceptions, and share some facts about using CDJs in standalone. But playing on DJ gear starts with getting the right music, and a place DJs can get that from is Direct Music Service. DMS is an online database where DJs can get their music from. There's thousands of unique edits, remixes, and originals that you can choose from of your favorite tracks that you can use to rock your next dance floor. They also have an app that you can use on your mobile device where you can browse their database and then save songs so that it appears on your Dropbox when you get home. I'm gonna leave you two discount links down below in the pinned comment if you want to subscribe. Go to directmusicservice.com today to sign up. So the question, why do people use a laptop with CDJs, is often rooted from the assumption, isn't the whole point of using CDJs is to avoid using a laptop? Or even, don't CDJs already do everything you can do with DJ software, so there's no reason to ever need the DJ software? Well, let's get a few facts in order. When it comes to sound quality and jog wheel response, CDJs have the edge over DJ software. You'll get the highest audio resolution from different tempo settings, as well as a response latency unmatched by any DJ software. So CDJs and standalone is all you need, right? Well, not in all cases. The truth is, the flagship CDJs by design were meant not only to play music from a flash drive, but also be capable of supporting multiple DJ software. If you remember, this began with the CDJ2000, where Pioneer DJ marketed how HID mode could now give you full controller-like support using major DJ software of the time. But if you're hooked on Ableton, Tractor, and Scratch Live, the CDJ is the answer you've been waiting for. We've included a 24-bit audio file sound card with MIDI and HID control over USB so you can manipulate any software. The reason for this is because not all DJs use the same DJ software or even DJ on the same hardware. During that time, either DJs were on CDs using DVS or have adopted using a DJ controller early. It wasn't easy to transfer music libraries that contain metadata like tempo, grid, key, and hot cues between all the different DJ software. There are utilities today that help with that, but it's still not easy. So by creating a product that could support or be supported by major DJ software developers, venue owners and production companies could install flagship CDJs as the universal single pair or set of four devices that could be used by different DJs with different preferences in DJ software or platform. If you use a Rekordbox exported USB drive, you're good to play. If you prefer Rekordbox in performance mode, you're good as well. Serato, Virtual DJ, Algorithm DJ Pro AI, and Tractor, you're all good to play on the flagship CDJs. But why use a laptop if CDJs sound better and respond faster? Doesn't the CDJs already do everything? Well, yes and no. While the flagship CDJs have the advantage on sound quality and tactile response, there are a few things that CDJs don't do, including being a laptop. Let me explain. Each DJ software can bring to the table unique features that aren't available on the CDJ. On a basic level, every CDJ and every DJ software can queue up tracks, allow the DJ to manipulate them, and let you mix songs live. If beat matching and mixing songs is all you need to do on a reliable system, then using the CDJs or an XDJ, for that matter, in standalone is all you would need. However, here are a few examples of DJ software features that add, if not improve, your CDJ experience. Nested Playlist. This is the ability to open a group of playlists and be able to see all the songs in them. 
When you're using it in standalone, you can only view what's inside the playlist. Ever notice in Serato, you can put the crates within the crates and view all the songs in the group of the crates. That's what nested playlist is. That's something CDJs don't have and that's something that Rekordbox doesn't have either. Stem separation. At the time this video was made, real-time stem separation is a feature exclusive to DJ Pro AI and Virtual DJ. The ability to manipulate or mute different elements of the song from drums, the vocals, or the instruments has so far been exclusive to these two DJ software. If you're playing on CDJ standalone, you would have to render each song element and export them to the flash drive. And there's no real-time control, so you would have to come up and practice a routine. Gated hot cues. Ever notice on a CDJ when your track is stopped, but you click on a hot cue and it plays from that hot cue. But on Serato, when your track is stopped, when you click on a hot cue, it plays from that hot cue only when you hold the hot cue down and then it stops as soon as you let go. This function is called gated hot cue. Currently, there is no setting to switch gated hot cues when playing standalone on the CDJs. There is a setting you can switch in Rekordbox, but it only works if you use performance mode, which is HID mode with the CDJs. So if you have a tone play routine that depends on gated hot cues, you'll have to use DJ software. Not to mention gated hot cues make it easier to set the main cue button to a hot cue point. When it's stopped, you just click a hot cue and click the main cue button. If you haven't already and you're finding this video useful or informative, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Doing so will help me make more videos like this. All right, so next up, we got music library. While spinning on the flash drive lets you use some of your playlist, having a laptop lets you access your whole music library. If you're playing a one hour set at a festival, Having a small curated playlist may be all you need. But if you're playing for five hours at a club with a diverse demographic of people, a small curated playlist is not going to be enough. This is why many club DJs and open format DJs still use a laptop. If you need to shift the type of music you're playing and search for songs quickly, the power of a computer with a large display and keyboard and a trackpad really, really shine. Playing for a festival or a specialized genre-specific music event won't require the same level of crowd reading and genre shifting as a club with varying musical taste. Therefore, the preferred tools for each application vary drastically. With DJ software, you could create new playlists on the fly. You could quickly abort and load a new track. And remember, until the recent release of the CDJ 3000s, the load time on previous CDJs like the 2000 Nexus 2 could take up to 5 seconds with 8 hot cues loaded. But if you wanted fast instant song loading, you had to use HID mode with DJ software before the CDJ 3000. Ever come across a time in your gig where you needed to play a song that you don't have? Process is much easier when you're already using the computer. You can get on your hotspot on your phone get on direct music service, download the song, and drag it into one of your software decks. The process in standalone is not so elegant. We can get into a discussion about streaming services later, but leave that in the comments section if you want to hear about that. Ableton Bridge. Another advantage that isn't often spoken about since this is a small niche of DJs, musicians, or mix artists who would be using this is the use of Ableton Bridge to sync audio software and MIDI devices together with your DJ software. While Pro DJ Link lets you combine Terize devices, the ability to link multiple MIDI instruments or plugins is a feature that is simplified by using compatible DJ software. So if you want to add other MIDI instruments, it's a lot easier with DJ software. Now with all this said, I reiterate this point. Buying a pair of CDJ3000s just for using it in HID mode with DJ software might not be the most cost-effective option, especially since DJ controllers like the DJ1000 SRT and the all-in-one systems like the XDJ XZ can easily fill this role at a much lower cost. However, listen up. There are folks out there 
who are open format DJs by day and electronic music artists by night. And maybe they want to get some gear that they will find at the club or events that they can both use with Serato or Rekordbox as well as play standalone. But the real reason flagship CDJs like the CDJ3000 and its predecessors are designed to support DJ software is so that clubs or production companies don't have to remove the CDJs when someone like a Serato user arrives to play. Unless, of course, they prefer to use turntables. Then they have to move it aside. At the end of the day, when the trolls scoff, Look at this chump using a laptop with CDJs. Just remember, it doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what works for you and what helps you play your best. And if you think about it, if we just simply use devices for their intended purpose, DJing would never have happened. Do you want to know the real reasons why festival DJs need four CDJs? Check out this video over here. And if you want to see all four ways to use a CDJ, follow this link right here. And if you want to see a whole playlist about CDJs explained, link to the playlist down here. Really appreciate you for watching. Thanks. Take care. Stay healthy. The force is with you always.